there! My name is Keely, and you're listening to the Media Musketeers podcast, where we dive into the intersections of media and technology and education. Today, alongside my fellow educators, Anne Clara and Nena, we'll explore the transformative power of counter narratives in the classroom. How's everyone doing today? Great. So looking forward to our conversation today. Sup, y'all? So let's jump right in. We're focusing on how technology, particularly a tool called Book Creator, can be a powerful ally in sharing and creating counter narratives. So, what is a counter narrative? These are stories or perspectives that challenge the dominant narratives presented in mainstream education and media, offering a platform for voices traditionally marginalized. Right. And most of what we've been told in our history classes growing up have been whitewashed stories. What I mean by this is those individuals have not been told the true experiences people went through throughout history. Because of this, we grew up with false narratives about history, especially the history of marginalized communities. So I'm going to tie in like my personal experience. Um, Yeah. So as a black woman growing up, I've often heard people imply or outright uh, state that black women are not capable in academic settings due to inherent intellectual limitations, which we all know is obviously false. But it is a common experience for many marginalized people within the educational sphere. Obviously, the counter narrative is that Black women have a long history of resilience and academic achievement, overcoming systemic barriers and discrimination. Many Black women have contributed to educational settings through their diverse perspectives, experiences, and intellectual abilities, aka Shout out to Bell Hooks. Um, Black women's presence is essential for creating inclusive and culturally responsive learning environments. Look at you incorporating your own counter narrative. And so counter narratives give a voice to those who have been silenced and ignored. They're super important to discuss in the classroom as it's our job as educators to provide students with the correct information. I completely agree, Anne Clara. By countering the stories from the privilege that we've considered normal for so long, I think we'll really have a positive impact on future generations of children. I think the best way of introducing these topics to students is through forms of media. Slay girl, not only is it engaging for students, but you know it allows them to feel like they're a part of the lesson. Book Creator stands out as an exceptional tool because it's not just about creating books, it's an opportunity for students to engage directly with counter narratives, They're also able to research and craft their own stories. They not only learn about diverse perspectives, but also contribute their voices to the broader narrative. So Book Creator is a multimedia feature, uh, which enables a rich and interactive exploration of these stories, making learning a vibrant and personal experience. Exactly, Nana. In that way, Book Creator embodies the principles of constructionism because students aren't just putting text on a page. Educators are creating a space where students actively construct their understanding. They're not passive recipients of information, but creators. And it goes beyond just engagement. By generating their own content, be it through typing, drawing, or uploading their own videos and audio, students are taking ownership of their learning. They're connecting new information with their existing knowledge in a hands-on creative process that's truly in line with constructionist learning. Picture this, a project titled our cultures, our stories, reclaiming narratives. This project taps into Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences, allowing students to use their unique strengths, whether they're musically inclined, artistic, or emotionally intelligent. Step one involves introducing your students to the concepts of counter narratives and revisionism. Revisionism, like counter narratives, critiques history presented from one perspective that exclude other views. Okay, Anne Clara. Um, <laughs> let's also consider how Book Creator aligns with the SAMR model, a framework for integrating technology in education. At the substitution level, digital books created with Book Creator can also replace traditional books, but it does not stop there. That's the catch. No, it doesn't. It augments the learning experience with multimedia, modifying how students approach assignments by encouraging them to curate resources and generate original content. And at the redefinition level, Book Creator allows students to share their books online, extending the classroom into the global community. 
Yep. And not only that, Book Creator lends itself beautifully across various subjects. Like, let's take a history class, for example. Students could create inclusive textbooks or alternate history books. Oh, and it's not just for traditional academic subjects. So creative arts, students can compile portfolios, English classes could produce community-involved books, or even fractured fairy tales, tapping into the creative storytelling aspect. Lol, I am so selling this app. You're welcome to whoever created this app, by the way. I agree. It's really cool. And after that, students choose a topic that can resonate with them. So this could be a family story, a cultural tradition, or a significant event from their community's history. Then, with the information they gathered to shape their narrative, through traditional research and interviews, they can build on their linguistics and interpersonal intelligence skills. With their stories ready... Students start creating their books using Book Creator. So incorporating text, images, audios, video, etc. This gives the students the freedom to put their strongest multiple intelligences at the forefront. It's a process that not only educates, but it also fosters a deep connection to their cultural identity. Oh, and we also have this cultural showcase where students present their books sharing their perspectives. After the showcase, we encourage educators to facilitate a reflection session. This is a crucial step where students journal their thoughts on the project, reflecting on what they learned about their own and others' cultures. Since Book Creator will create a digital library, students can easily go back and reference the presentation. One great prompt is for a journal would be, for instance, how has the experience of building your counter narrative and listening to the counter narratives of other students helped you flip from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset? This question is great because as students can ponder the process of, ref- of creating their book, um, the research challenges they face and how their perspective on counter narratives has evolved, which deepens their understanding and solidifies their learning experiences. Absolutely. You can also take the insights from this assignment to incorporate elements of culturally relevant pedagogy by adding students' perspectives and cultural practices into school topics. Therefore, you're able to position students as knowledge co-creators. It is also a reflection of the social justice standards layered curriculum, which focuses on identity, diversity, justice, and action. As students recognize traits of various cultures, dismantle stereotypes, injustice, and the harmful impact of bias on the world historically and today. Yeah, and I think critical race theory is a great example of a way that counter narratives fight for social justice in the classroom. It's a framework of analysis that focuses on teaching racial inequalities in the classroom. Unfortunately, racism is normalized in society and it's not going to go away. So the goal is to unmask and expose racism in its various forms. I really believe that telling the stories of those affected is necessary in order to fight for social justice. Before integrating Book Creator into our lessons, it's essential we critically assess it. One, who created this tool and whose narrative does it privilege? Number two, how accessible is it and how does it represent diverse values and viewpoints? To answer these questions, let's look at the intersectionality theory. Simply put, intersectionality theory is the understanding that identities are shaped by the intersections of various social factors, like race, gender, class, and sexuality. These intersections create unique experiences of privilege and oppression for individuals. While this theory is so important because it offers us a valuable lens for instructing multiple intelligences, Honestly, intersectionality can create an inclusive learning environment that fosters equitable access to education. So let's dive deeper into how intersectionality theory prompts educators to address systemic inequities and tailor instruction to meet the diverse needs of all students, ensuring that learning experiences are accessible and meaningful for everyone. So to answer your questions, Nana, Book Creator is an online app designed specifically for classroom use. Teachers can organize libraries by class or subject, and students create books within these libraries. Teachers have real-time access to monitor student work, offer feedback, and facilitate collaboration. Both teachers and students create accounts for accessing work across devices. The starter plan allows one library with up to 40 books. Wow, that's really cool. And integrating Book Creator into educational settings naturally promotes engagement and creativity. 
It offers a collaborative platform for students, which enhances not only their learning experience, but it also fosters critical skills like teamwork and communication. So as we conclude today's episode, our hope is that not only you've gained insights, but that you feel inspired to act. We challenge you to use Book Creator as a starting point to bring these vital narratives to the forefront of your teaching practice. Let's empower our students to explore, create, and reshape the world one story at a time. My name's Kaylee. My name's Nana. I'm I'm Clara. And this has been another episode of Media Musketeers. <laughs>